Hi, I'm Maria B, the Sizzix Lady from itscheaperthantherapy.com, giving you the tip of the day for a scrapbook expo. And the tip of the day is going to be how to cut and fold the fold along cards by Sizzix and Jen Long. So you take your cardstock and you want to fold it in half and give it a crease. We have one cutting pad down onto the magnetic platform. This is my folded edge here. And I'm going to hold this up here in just a moment. You take the edge of the die and put it right onto the fold of the card. Take your other cutting pad, which is some of the new awesome colored cutting pads that are out. You can easily find them on your table when you're looking for them. And you hear the, the cracking, it's just cutting, that's all it's doing. So let's just set this off to the side. So what you do is you take off all the outside edges that it cut and get rid of that. Pop it out. And what you see here is you see some scored, a scored line here and a couple here. It also did it on this side, but it's a little harder to see since the cardstock was folded in half. But what I like to point out is you can see the score lines here and here as well. But what I like to pay attention to is the halfway marks. There's basically three sections across here. And I want to turn this half circle into a quarter circle. So I'll line up those edges and then I'm going to score it down. And that's where that score line is actually at. This one here will do the same thing. But if you cannot see the score line depending upon your paper, just fold it back and line it up with that edge as well and give it a score. And those, they line up really nice. And now we're going to do it to the other side. You can feel the score line there as well. And then fold it back. When you buy this die set, you get some other dies in there to finish the card. So you have basically, it's a tri-fold, fold-along card from Sizzix and Jen Long. But what you also get is you get some dies that'll cut these bracket shapes. You get two of them in this particular set, and there's these little notches, and they'll slip right in to the little notch. And it's nice to keep them kind of loose. You don't want to glue that all the way in because then your card seems a little on the floaty side, which is kind of a cool look. Now let me show you a couple other samples. This one is the jar fold along. See, and it kind of has a neat little look to it. And you get a lot of those pieces in there. And this is the one that we just did It's the ticket. The words do not come in the set but those are the different size brackets, banners, and little tabs that come with it as well. And so this is an A2 size card that you can make with a complete set. This is Maria from itscheaperthantherapy.com bringing you the tip of the day for Scrapbook Expo.